or 67 dried up and the supply is gone and you can never get it anymore. At the time we were doing it, we were, it was an isotope that might, might have been really useful to work with. Um, so again, um, what we're trying to do is build a device targeted at the angiogenic microvasculature and to try to look at it intercellularly at the multicellular tissue level and at the whole animal level, all right? This we failed at because copper 67 went away, um, but we can come back to this now in the future because now in Vancouver we've got the Triumph Cyclotron and I've got access now to every isotope under the sun. Um, so there's, there's a whole different array of things now we can do devices um, um, that were different than before. Um, again, so we built a nano device. We did a, a, a plate binding assay where you look at essentially have the receptor that you want to target and see are you binding to your receptor and we're able to show that the targeted device binds very well to the receptor and we can compete it off right, with free, R, free uh, RGD, right, and the positive control binds. The device binds a little better than the positive control, and that may be because if you, as you start putting multiple RGDs on the surface, right, multiple ligands, you can then target multiple receptors, right, with those ligands, and you might, have, in some cases, you get a synergy of binding, a much tight, stronger binding. In the case of RGD, it's been shown you can get up, even up to a thousand-fold stronger binding um, in some studies by having multiple ligands um, on, a, on a cell. Can you think of melt, and this may allow you in some cases, um, there's certain receptors that are on very low content in the body and very low content on cells. Um, but if you can bind to many of them, you may have a chance to stick and then be able to image or do other, th um, or give therapeutics when you couldn't do that before, All right? So, and then these, this again is DAPI stain nuclei. This is the nano device without RGD, and this is the nano device with RGD and, and a, a biotin signal that we can then see. So these are just cells, and that was all published. And